Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my vlog. I am with my mom and it's a Friday and I'm vlogging today. My mom's off work. And we are at the Oshawa Center and we're gonna do some shopping. So I thought I'd bring you guys along because I kind of want to try some stuff on maybe, get y'all's opinions on some items. It's nice out today, not super warm, but it's not cold. This is my outfit. T-shirt is Verge Girl wearing black denim form jeans. That's basically it. And your outfit's really cute too. Look at that nice blazer. Oh wow. Fashion, fashion. <laughs> but yeah. Off to you. impromptu haul just move the faucet out of the way <laughs> and so I got things from Zara Dynamite and Sephora so we're gonna start off with Sephora I was inspired to get some more like clean beauty products just because I've been trying to just use more clean products in general in my routines and so I just wanted to add some new stuff in so First up, I got this foundation. I've actually used this like years ago and I really liked it. It's the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Lightweight, smoothing, soothing, niacinamide, allotone and aloe infused. So it's like a clean foundation. I got it in the shade Selena, which is like light medium with neutral undertones. So it should be like the perfect shade for the summer. I wanted to get this just for like a more fuller coverage foundation because I did really like the Dior one. But when I looked it up on this app, I've seen everyone talking about this app recently. Millie, don't eat Oz's bowl. It's called Think Dirty and it shows you like a rating on how clean they are and the Dior Foundation did do very well. Still love it, still love the coverage, but I'm like, you know, just for like more daily use, I'd rather use a clean product if I'm gonna be using it regularly. So I picked up this, I'm super excited to try it out again. I used to love it, so here's hoping I still do. Then I just got uh, the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I had to get a different shade. I used to have it in the olive shade, but I'm not olive undertone, so I don't know why I had it in an olive shade. But I got it in 0W, 03W, which is light with subtle golden undertones, and I really like it. It looks like it matches perfectly. I did apply just a tiny bit under my eyes, and I feel like the color match is perfect. So super excited about this one. This is like a cult favorite. I feel like everyone loves this concealer. It's just very hydrating in the under eyes. Then a clean mascara that I really like, I've actually bought this before, so it's my second time purchasing it, is the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara. Zero smudge, volumizing and curling, ultra voluminous, oh that's French. <laughs> but yeah, it really does. It's a really nice mascara. It's also a tubing mascara, so it's super easy to remove, which I love. The packaging is super cute on this one. And I already know I like it because I used it before. Um, and I love it. So I picked up that. Very excited. And then I've been wanting this blush. This was the last one in stock because I know this color is super popular. I love Rare Beauty. I believe they're a clean beauty brand. I'm pretty sure they fall under the clean category, but don't quote me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think they do. But yeah, this one I really wanted to get this color in because I have all like the pink toned, like the terracotta tone, but I wanted a nice peach. So I have the colors Hope and Encourage and I got it in the shade Joy, which as you guys can see is this really nice peachy color. Gonna be perfect for the summer, like that shade. I'm so excited. So I got that and then also I had two items that came in from Revolve Beauty, which I'm really excited for you guys because I saw Hailey Bieber talk about these on her YouTube channel and like 
Hailey Bieber has like the perfect skin. Like I think if anyone in the whole social media world has skin goals, it's like Hailey Bieber, her skin is insane. So she talked about this Beauty Stat Universal C Eye Perfector Under Eye Cream that she said that she's been using and like it's like her all time favorite. So I was like, <laughs> order. And then she also talked about this vitamin C serum, which is 20% vitamin C. Um, she said even when she was creating her brand that she consulted with the dermatologist who created this line to help with her products. So I was like, I'm gonna look into this. So I ordered them. I'm very excited because I actually don't have a vitamin C serum right now. I haven't been using a vitamin C serum in a while. So very excited to try these ones out. They're really sealed in these boxes. So I don't think I can get them out. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so they have a large size of this vitamin C, but I just got the smaller size box just because I want to try it out and make sure I like it before I get a big one, but this is what it looks like. Very cute packaging. It's like a cream consistency too, which is nice because it won't have that like dirty orange coloring. Oops. So I picked up that and then obviously there is also the eye cream, which I'm very excited to use. Brightening. I need that. My under eyes are so dark. So got these two products as well. That's the sound of my mother coming home. Hello, mother. What? Hi. Hi. I'm just vlogging. Does she eat? Yeah, I fed her. I didn't walk too far. It looks like it's gonna rain. I know. But yeah, that's all the beauty products that I got. And now I'll show you guys the clothing items that I picked up in a pair of shoes. So from, where are they? Let's start with dynamite. I just got two things. I got two little shirts that are super cute. So I just got this little tank top shirt. It's kind of like a frang, what do you call this? Like peplum, not really, I don't know what it's called. And it's got little tie straps. I thought this one was really cute, super neutral, but I feel like you could wear it with black shorts or regular blue jean shorts. Like I kind of like that about it. So I picked up this one, love it. And then I got this little top from Dynamite as well, because I just loved how simple this was, but it's like really cute. It's just like this little cross knit style tank top. Just something that would be good for me for like every day. I wanted some more like basic items. So I think they're kind of crying. And then from Zara, I just got two dresses. You guys saw that I tried on a bunch and there was a bunch that I liked, but I ended up just narrowing it down to my two favorites because I didn't want to buy too much, honestly. So I just got this little white dress because I loved the fit of this one. Um, so it's just like this little, it's got like a little tube scrunchy part there and then it just like flows out with this like really flowy light material. I feel like this one in the summer will be just such a good staple piece for me. I love just like simple flowy items like this. So I'm really happy with this one. And then I got this dress and the bright green. I have to get the green one. I just love green. You guys know it's my favorite color and the fit of this actually surprised me. Like I didn't think I would like it as much as I did and I love it. I love the little sleeves. It's like a nice linen material, which you guys know I love that. I love the little cinch in the waist and it's just beautiful. Like I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of that one because it's just stunning. And then last up, I got a pair of sandals. These are the last pair that they had in this style. And of course they were in my size, which makes me so happy. I wanted a sandal like these. I have a pair of sandals like these in black, but I wanted like a more neutral one. And I literally love these for when I want to dress up a little bit more than my Birkenstocks, but not like as flat as my Tory Burch. My Tory Burch look really good, but they're not comfortable for you to be like walking a lot because they're super just like a lot. I walked to go get my hair cut and back and my feet hurt because not only they got hurt from blisters, but they hurt just because I was literally walking on like a flat shoe. So it was basically like walking barefoot. Kaya, shh. I got these ones, they're super squishy. I love this color brown. They obviously strap onto your ankle, which I love with like the little jute material. Love. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill up for the rest of the night. So I'll probably catch up with y'all tomorrow and continue this vlog on because we're just gonna continue it on. I'll try and link all the items down below for you all, including the Hilly Bieber recommended skincare in case you all wanna try it out. I'm gonna test that tomorrow though and see about how I think about it. So I'll give you guys my first impressions tomorrow after I try it out for the first time, but very pleased. <laughs>
laugh when I try and vlog like this because my steering wheel is so in the way that you cannot even see me. But hello, it is Sunday now. It's actually two days later. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because one, we had the biggest thunderstorm I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm talking trees down everywhere. I took some videos on my phone, so I will insert those so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It was literally insane, like almost like a little mini tornado. Like I have never seen wind like that. We had entire trees like uprooted, like literally pulled out of the ground from this wind. Apparently the winds reached like in some places up to 135 kilometers an hour, which was insane. I have never seen a storm like that. I was actually like a little bit like, holy shit, that's a little scary. Um, but I was always trying to laugh it off because I don't know, I feel like in situations like that, I'm like, ah, this is fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyways, it's Sunday now. The weather has um, restored itself. Now it's just raining and a little bit cold. Guess it's not terrible weather. So I'm actually going right now to meet my friend Natalie. I think she's at Starbucks. I don't know, her phone's on notifications off. So I'm like, are you there? Hello? Turn your notifications on. But anyways, I'm gonna head there for a bit. I don't know what she wants to do there, but I'm gonna go there just for a couple hours and hang out with her. And then later tonight, we're having a girls night at my friend Jody's house, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff later and I'll probably show you guys some of the clean products and how they apply. But I did start using the vitamin C serum and eye cream that Hailey Bieber talked about. So far, I really like it. It has like a weird texture. Like it's very like, it feels like it's like smoothing your skin. Like it reminds me of almost like a primer, whatever texture it is, which is interesting. Um, the eye cream's really nice. The vitamin C serum is 20%, so when I do apply it, I feel like a slight tingling, but it goes away. It's not like anything harsh or anything. I don't have sensitive skin though, so if you have super sensitive skin, maybe bear that in mind. 20% is pretty high for vitamin C. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like. I am currently like breaking out of it, just with like little pimples, but no biggie, no biggie. We can live with some little pimples. Anyways, I'm gonna head out now and get some Starbucks. I was gonna get an ice drink, but now that it's so chilly, I think I'll get a warm one. <laughs> Guys, look at these mugs. Look at this one. Hedge hug. Knock knock. Who's there? I love it. Nat's here. Say hi, Nat. <laughs> that would be cute. I always look at their cheese boards and I'm like, wow, these are nice. But then I'm like, do I ever do a cheese platter? No. <laughs> it is the next day. I am back in Toronto without Millie, which is so sad. She's staying at my parents' house until Wednesday because I have an event tomorrow night that I have to stay overnight at. It's like a little hotel thing, so I don't want to leave her here all night, obviously. So she's just at my parents, living her best life at her second home, and I am putting away all my shit. This is like the worst part of coming back from being away is that I have like eight billion things that I need to like unpack and put away and I have like my chef's place came so I have to put those away and I have like all this stuff and I'm just like holy shit but look how cute these pajama sets are I got two different pajama sets I don't know if I showed you guys this one but how cute is this with a little t-shirt and little shorts that was from Revolve and then I went um as I showed you guys with Natalie and we actually ended up going to Marshall too and I got this little pajama set for $30 look at these little shorts I think this with a tan would look so cute and it's like a nice silky material which is nice for the summer and yeah i've just been putting all this stuff away and then i'm gonna make quesadillas so stay tuned for the quesadillas because i'm quite excited about that all right it is so many hours later and it took me so long to get my place like organized. I cleaned for like two hours, just putting stuff away, cleaning, bringing stuff down, going this way, going that way. I'm freaking exhausted. And now I am editing this video, which should have gone live on Monday, but it's going live on Wednesday because I am behind. I'm still not over like that thunderstorm. It was insane. 
and it's so sad actually people did die in it which is really really sad and it was just like the most insane storm like we got hit pretty bad but other areas um got hit really bad like more um i know brampton got hit pretty bad uxbridge where my friend nikki lives got hit pretty bad i know i'm pretty sure ottawa got hit pretty badly toronto actually didn't get hit bad at all like there's like no tree branches down or anything which is crazy considering my parents street was literally like destroyed um i'm talking about trees literally like half of the tree breaking off onto the ground which is just like what there's whole trees that got like uprooted like the entire thing i just am like that was the most insane storm that i've ever seen in my entire life i'm still not over that which is why i'm still talking about it <laughs> but i have an oat milk matcha latte that i made i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy while i finish my editing and then later tonight i'm gonna go over to aiden's apartment and he's gonna cook me dinner which will be really nice and i can just like lay on his comfortable couch <laughs> take a nap <laughs> and then i'm actually gonna stay over the night at his which will be fun too because i never really stay there he usually comes here typically because i normally have millie it's just easier for him to come here but millie obviously is at my parents place so i'm gonna go stay at his place for the night which will be nice so there's always dog hair on my coffee table which i don't understand because millie's not on the coffee table ever like i don't get why there's always dog hair on it really confuses me and then tomorrow morning i have yoga which is exciting as well i had such a good weekend i literally had so much fun with my friends i just love being around my family and friends it's just like the best i'm always just like my best self around especially i mean everyone that i have in my life i feel like i am my best self around which makes me really happy because i feel like that is such a growing thing where i'm like i'm i'm very happy with the people that are in my life i love my friends i love my boyfriend and i love my parents like i'm just very happy and i really i wish that for everybody who watches this video to be able to find like a solid group of friends people that love you to surround yourself with because it just makes you feel so good and fulfilled it's just the best anyways i'm gonna go back to editing and stop being a suck oh i forgot to tell you guys too i did go off of the birth control pill so i will keep you guys updated on any changes that i experience with like my skin or really anything i'll just bring you guys along so this is like day one i guess i went off it yesterday so day two of being off it i won't see any changes i'm sure for a bit but I'll let you guys know what happens. So far, nothing. <laughs> I feel fine, other than I'm a little tired, but that could also be because I was up late last night having some beverage jams, so that would make sense. <laughs> but yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that whole process and how it goes. And yeah, I'm very excited. Also, I'm like kind of revamping my skincare routine a bit, so I'll share that with you guys once I have all the items and everything that I plan to do and take and stuff for my skin and for my hormone health. So yeah, gonna get back to editing.